Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I wanna thank you folks for watching, liking, and sharing my videos. You folks are the absolute best. So it's time to talk about it. I got a lot of people hitting me up, asking me questions about Leonard Williams and do I think we should trade him? Um, the answer is absolutely. I think we should make a move if the move is there. I am a big fan of moving on from Leonard Williams and there's a couple of reasons why. One of them is because of what we currently have on the roster. Uh, you end up drafting Quinnen Williams. Uh, you have Steve McClendon. You got guys like uh, Fadu uh, You got you know, these linemen that have stepped up. Phillips as well has stepped up. Look, you got guys that are doing exactly what we you know, are looking at Leonard Williams to do. And they're doing it fine. I don't understand why we need to keep him around, especially when his time is coming up for a contract. Uh, I would not pay him. Uh, Leonard Williams is a guy that, look, He's a solid lineman, but he is not what we need. He's not a pass rusher. He's not getting to the quarterback. You know, no big sack numbers. I never expected the big sack numbers. Again, I'm an SC guy. I watched him. I think he's a phenomenal defensive lineman, but again, he's not what we need. He's not a Khalil Mack. He's not a Von Miller. He's not a guy that's going to get you 10 to 15 sacks a year. That is not happening, okay? It's just, it's just not what it is. He came in his rookie year. Very solid year. You know, we were all excited about it. And then ever since then, it's been kind of, he's been invisible. It, particularly in games where we really need him to step up and make plays. Uh, we really need an impact moment from him. And it just never would happen. He's been pretty much invisible up until this point. And so, look, I'm ready to move on. You know, if the rest of the NFL values him higher than we do, then it's time to make some changes because we have issues here on this football team elsewhere, uh, particularly the offensive line, and we need to start investing in those things. Um, so if you can look at this situation and maybe you can get a third-round pick for Leonard Williams, uh, then you do it because I'm ready to start packaging picks to move and get offensive linemen. One of the guys that I really like and I've been talking about for quite some time now, especially since this situation is kind of bowled over uh, with the team he's currently on, is Trent Williams. Um, at this point, to my knowledge, he has not been traded. I know that the Redskins are fielding offers for him, though, even though they're kind of saying they're not from time. Yes, you are, because there's a lot of teams that are in the market for him that I know are asking about him or inquiring about, you know, what they need to, to, to package to actually get this guy on their football team. So, look, if you can get him for a second and maybe get a third for Leonard Williams and you can get him now, you do that because we have an issue along our offensive line. And I'll go into it a little bit more in depth after I get done talking about Leonard Williams. But this left tackle position here is in flux, especially going forward. So you need to solve that position right now. And if you can get uh, Trent Williams in the building right now, a guy that's one of the better offensive linemen in the entire league for a second and a third, you do it. Uh, one of the things that I do not want to see us do, and I fear, I really do fear it, is we wait until the offseason to really try to wrap and make a move for Trent Williams. And here's why. is because there's some teams right now that may not be in the market for a left tackle. They may be like, oh, we're good there. Everything's fine. Everything's smooth. Season ends. And then in the offseason, they go, hmm, you know what? Actually, our left tackle position isn't as secure as we thought it was. So, hey, we should look in the trade for Trent Williams. Maybe we should do that. Let's try to get in the market for him because we're not exactly happy with what we saw from our left tackle position. Or maybe there's an injury and guys go down and we're like, they're, they're scrambling like, oh man, we need to solve this problem right now. So what that could do is actually drive uh, the market up for him, therefore driving up offers. And now instead of maybe a second and a fourth or a second and a third to get Trent Williams, now the Redskins are going to ask for a first plus more picks. And so if you can get him for a little bit cheaper than what you would in the offseason, I think you do it right now. Uh, Leonard Williams, again, coming up on that contract, he's not a guy that I would give 14 to $15 million for anyway. I know that we can let him walk and get back a compensatory pick. That pick would come in 2021, though. It would not come in 2020. It will come in 2021. So it all depends on how you'd want to handle it again. I wouldn't take, like, some super low ball offer for him, but I definitely, you know, again, a third-round pick for me, maybe even a high fourth-round pick for me, um, would, a high fourth round pick would definitely gauge my interest. A third round pick is what I would definitely take. But I think you have to move on from him either way. He is not a guy you want to give 14 to $15 million if that's what he's asking for. Um, I just don't see us really 
keeping Leonard Williams on his roster. Unless he, at the end of the season, is willing to really take a, a, a hometown discount, which I don't think he will, um, and really do, you know, do a deal that would benefit the, our team, then it's time to move on from him, get that comp pin back, and continue, like I said, to start building this offensive line and building around Sam. So comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. Are you interested in uh, trading Leonard Williams? If you're not interested in trading Leonard Williams, you want to keep him on this team, comment down below too. Let me know what you folks think. I love going back and forth with you. So uh, with that kind of you know put to the side there, I want to talk about the issues along this offensive line. Oh, boy. We all know we got <laughs> Chuma Adoga at our right tackle. Uh, we have Brian Winters at, at right guard. We got Khalil, who's been very up and down, more down than up <laughs> at center. Uh, you know, we got Alex Lewis there at guard. And now our, our you know, left tackle is in flux. Um, left guard is also, again, with Alex Lewis being there, the reason why he's playing is because O'Simley is dealing with a shoulder injury. He's done for the season, so Alex Lewis has been in there. He's actually been playing pretty well. I've been impressed with his play there at the left guard spot, but man, Beecham has been Beecham has been bad, and now he's dealing with an ankle injury. So now we're looking at this situation, and we're saying, hey, who can we put at left tackle? Um, not interested in Brandon Shell playing left tackle. That's one guy that I I can't wait to get him the hell off this team. Like he is terrible. Uh, so now you're looking at the situation and saying, okay, well, can you move Chuma and Doga over there? I mean, doga has been playing decently at right tackle. I guess you could try him at left tackle and see if it works out. Um, you could also put Alex Lewis at left tackle as well. He's a guy that plays that guard-tackle combo. You could put Lewis at left tackle and then put Harrison, our backup center, at guard. That's something that you could do. Um, so then if you move Doga though, then you'd have to put – you know, Brandon Shell at right tackle, or you'd have to move Lewis to right tackle. So there's so much shuffling along this offensive line that can happen. But let me tell you something. We've got to get this figured out, okay? Because the games we got coming up, particularly against the Pats, and I'll talk about the Pats in my, in my NFL picks video, but if you don't have a guy that can, you know, stay sturdy up front, if you don't have a guy that can be solid, man, Sam is going to get destroyed out here. You know, there's only so many times for a team where he's going to be able to, you know, get the ball out fast against teams. It's really going to limit our offense if you can't get guys blocked up front. If guys are running free or beating your left tackle, just destroying you up front and getting what you got to do. And again, in the offseason, this needs to be a main priority is building the offense and building around Sam. Point blank, period. Point blank period for me, this offense is all, or this offseason should be all about investing in the offense and all about investing for Sam. If you look around the league, a lot of people that have young quarterbacks, they're doing whatever it takes to ensure that they're put in positions to make plays and, you know, they have weapons out there for them. That's exactly what we need to do for Sam. You look at the Browns, I know they're struggling right now because Baker Mayfield is playing like trash, but could you imagine if Sam had the same weapons as Baker? Could you imagine how, like, great we would be oh man oh man let me tell you you look even if you look at the texans you look what the texans have done deshaun watson was taking a lot of shots and they said whoa we can't keep letting this kid get hit like this every year we got you know pieces out here we got to protect them so they went and got laramie tunzel you know one of the better left tackles in the league so we've got to do the same here and we got to show up this offensive line this coming off season but uh, just staying with the times right now, we've got to figure out what's going on here. We've got to figure it out up front. There's going to be some shuffling, and, you know, we've got to see what happens. But, again, there's there's some options there, but, man, I, I'm worried. So, with all that said, please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. Again, comment down below. Let me know what you folks think about this offensive line issue. Are you nervous? Uh, does it worry you? Um, if you're not worried, please tell me why you are not worried. I know there's a lot of people that are just super confident about <laughs> everything that's going on with this team so far because we got ourselves a win. But I'm a little, you know, my, my heart's beating a little faster, you know, knowing that we got to shake up our left tackle spot. So, again, let me know what you folks think and have a great day. Peace.